For part two of activity 417, you need to get the minimum and maximum radial dimensions for each of your cams, including the two that you plan to uh, be using for your automata design. Uh, so for this part, we are not going to be in our automata box assembly. We're going to go over to the cams folder. And then inside this folder, you'll notice that there is a cam part for each one of our standard cams, like the pair, eccentric, hex, snail, and heart. Um, so to make these measurements for these cams, as well as uh, the two that you're going to be using for your design, uh, we're going to make a drawing. So I'm going to go over here to the plus button, click create drawing, and then I'm just going to use a standard size A drawing for this. Okay, I'm going to insert a eccentric cam. First, make sure that the view scale is one to one and that the view orientation is front. Those should be selected by default, but change those if they're not. I'm gonna hit escape to stop placing views after that front one, because that's the only view that you're gonna need for this. And then I'm gonna add a center mark to the center of the hole in the cam. Okay, now you're gonna to need to use two dimension tools uh, for this. Uh, if you are dimensioning to a curved line, like we are um, on the eccentric cam, you're gonna to wanna to use this dimension tool, which is called the maximum or minimum dimension. Now, to get the minimum dimension, which is what we'll start with here, you're gonna to wanna to go from the center mark, the center point we just added, down to the bottom line. That is the lowest dimension or the minimum dimension for an eccentric cam. Okay, so if we click that and then we click, oh, let me get back to my dimension tool. If we click the center, and then we click the bottom. That is your minimum radial dimension for the eccentric cam. Okay, the maximum will be going the other way. So we're gonna go from the center up to the top, and then this is your maximum. Okay, if uh, I did link a document, a PDF that will show you what dimensions you need to get for the minimum and maximum, um, radial dimensions for all of these. So these are all examples showing you how to get those measurements. Um, so for measurements like what we just did, if you are measuring to a curved line, like to the outside of the circle here, again, make sure that you are using the this tool right here, maximum or minimum dimension. If you're using the regular dimension tool, it's not going to give you that measurement. It won't even let you click on that line. Okay, if you are measuring to a point, like for example, the maximum dimension on your snail cam, this right here, you can just get that point for the, the end of that arc for that circle that you can use the regular dimension tool for. The same thing for the um, hex cam for the maximum. So going from the center point here to the point on one of the, the hex here where the two lines meet, uh, that will, you can also use the regular dimension tool for that. So go ahead and make this drawing, fill out the rest of this drawing with the rest of your cams, including the, the two that you are gonna be using for your automata, and then write these values in the table for the minimum and maximum displacement uh, for each of those cams.